Today was the most ridiculous and crazy sneaker release I have ever been to in my life. If you tuned into this video, consider yourself one of the lucky few that get to witness what went down today. So the Yeezy 350 V2 Clays from Adidas from Kanye West released today. And I really wanted to get the pair of shoes and I was really excited to get the pair of shoes. So as usual, I went down to Livestock, the sneaker store that releases all of the Yeezys, all the off-whites. We get all the limited stuff at this sneaker store. I went down to put out my chair in the lineup at around 7.30, 7.45 in the morning. What happens next is absolutely ridiculous ridiculous and absolutely amazing so I really encourage and ask you guys to hit that like button if you want to see more content like this and if you're new please hit that subscribe button I do post content like this all the time so without further ado I'm gonna flash back to this morning when we went down to livestock oh my good guys I can already tell I'm probably gonna get in a fight today I, I, I just have a sneaking suspicion this is not gonna be good. Let me break down the situation for you. This is the line. Look, chairs, 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 chairs. Most sneaker lines stop like here, and then there's chairs and chairs and chairs and chairs and chairs and chairs and little kid Paw Patrol stools and chairs and chairs and chairs and chairs all the way around the corner, this is nuts. But there's also a sign on the door. It says available in store, sizes for the Adidas original Yeezy Boost V2 Clay, da 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 size seven to 12, no size 13, no size 11 and a half. Please do not leave a chair unattended in front of the store. This does not reserve your spot if you leave. Um, there's literally no one in line right now. So I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick. These are literally the rules put on the door that everyone can read and no one is in line. So myself and these two industrious gentlemen are just going to put our chairs at the front. I'm not trying to cause a fight here, but I mean, it says it on the door. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it is a thing in Winnipeg to just put your chair in line and leave, and it's just been sort of accepted as okay. I think it's absurd, I think it's ridiculous, and clearly livestock started to agree, put the sign on their door, and no one listened to it, so I was gonna take advantage of it. I mean, come on, if you want a pair of Yeezys, you should probably stand in line for them, not just put your chair there. Hey. Um, it says very clearly on the door yeah, you need to be at your chair. If you stay there. It says line. very clearly yeah, but on the door. Stays there. We always here. It's okay. Yeah, we're always here. And then they clearly are switching the rules because this is a dumb lineup system. It says very clearly on the door. Yeah, it's the if you leave chair. No, here. it says unattended, and you are not at we these attended. chairs. You are not we at attended. these chairs. Yeah, we are here. Look at this, guys. And there's very clearly a sign on the door. We attend it here. I'm going to sit here. I have video proof that there is no one in line. No. I have a video Everyone is here. Yeah. We yeah. be here last night. Okay. We all have a video. Yeah. And what is the sign that everyone can read on the door says? Leave the chair. We don't leave the chair. We yeah, like the, the chair's chair here. Yes. And we were not leaving. We were here. So we please. stay here. You clearly were not attending we your chair. Clearly so says that on the door. Mean? No. So we were not leaving. this is not reserved for your spot in the line if you leave, but we didn't leave. leave. Yeah. So it please. says unattended chair. But if what you? about the next? How is we no one sitting at the attending. chairs? We are beside here. Yeah, sitting in the yeah. car. Yeah. yeah. That, that means attending. Yeah, huh? we are. Okay, well, you can kick the chair if someone leaves. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to sit leave. here. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then when the store opens, you can tell them what happened and then they can decide. Okay. You're not busy. You're not being reasonable. Now notice how I made a really good point there. I said, you know what? If you guys all feel I'm in the wrong, tell the store and they'll decide. When I made a good point, I got silence out of them and then they said I wasn't being reasonable. Well, I'm, I'm being very reasonable. I'm saying that the store can decide. I'm gonna sit here. If you guys don't recognize my spot in line, then you can tell the store what happened. It's not really working that way. Well, that that's the way it's working unless you want to physically move. How, me. how would you say that? I'm gonna sit here for four hours. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, two, three hours or whatever, yeah. So when you're moving, we can do that same thing to you? Yeah, can we? Well, I'm not moving though. I'm sitting in my chair, because that's the rule. Oh, if I move, yes, you can, yeah, for sure. If we do that. Okay, but I'm not gonna move. Okay. Okay. You are the so please one. please don't move. I won't move. You are the one start the unreasonable behavior. Yeah. I don't think I started, I mean, once again, if the store says, you know what, so you guys are right. So what's the video about, all about? 
Oh, I make YouTube videos. What's the big deal? And that's totally not an. I mean, not reasonable. Okay, if you don't think it's reasonable, once again, mm -hmm. we can. You can tell everyone what happened, right? You can tell the Everybody workers at the store what happened. Okay. Everybody knows and who is not. I can also read the sign and see that no one was here. That's why we. We are attending. We are not leaving. And you're not the one who knows English, right? We are not leaving right? for one second. Everybody when did I say knows. that? Okay, how is that? Don't pull that up. We. I didn't say. We that can't you... read all the sentences. We know all the meanings. Right? I know that. I did not say that. Don't pull that on me. I mean, we didn't leave. We we didn't leave our chairs unattended. So why are you cutting the line? Because you left your chair. How is someone not standing by their chair, an attended chair? It's not. It's, it, it is attended. Okay, if you believe that, then tell them when the store opens, and it should be no problem. If you think I'm being unreasonable, then just you tell are. Them. You okay. really are. Then just tell them. Okay. 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 Now you're probably saying, Tom, isn't this a little bit excessive? I mean, you're a grown adult, this is just a pair of shoes. And I would say, you know what, you're probably right. For me, this is an argument of principle at this point. There was a sign on the door that they were not following. And I think I tried my best and I do believe I was fairly respectful to all of them. And I think I conveyed my point well. They just weren't listening. Okay, Can call a cop. Can everybody just grab their phone? Yeah, search really? the law or film me. It's okay. not illegal to film someone in public. Okay. If you don't want to be filmed, you can leave. So we'll, you will be in the internet. Okay. Are you happy? Yes, I'm on the internet every day. Okay. All right, good for you. Once again, I feel super bad for causing an argument. That's because you're wrong! Okay, the angry mob has finally dissipated. The sun's coming out. It's looking really, really nice outside. The store opens up in like an hour and 45 minutes. I just apologize in advance to the livestock guys. I, I love the employees here. It's an awesome store. If there's a big fight when the store opens up, guys, I'm sorry. Now, what happened next was honestly incredible, commendable, and uh, truth be told, made my day uh, over you know half an hour of silence not talking to the people that were angry at me and uh, eventually four five six of them came up to me and we had a very reasonable discussion they said you know what we thought about it we understand where you're coming from we understand that none of us were in line and we should have been in line and I apologize for being rude to you and sorry for calling you unreasonable and I apologize if I had upset them in any way at all even though I didn't intend to, I was just following the rules on the sign. And it's honestly, truly amazing to see two different people with opposing views be able to talk it out and have a calm, meaningful discussion, especially today where it's so prone to just start screaming at each other if you disagree with someone. It was really a beautiful thing to see all of us agree with each other. So we kissed and made up. Everyone was all good. I know it's not the climax of the argument that you probably wanted to hear. You wanted to see fists thrown and chairs thrown and blood all over the place. But at the end of the day, I think it is the best way to end a conflict. Oh yeah, and I mean, we still have like a pair of shoes that we need to buy and stuff too. This video is not done yet. Ooh, we got a special delivery. Oh my goodness, dude. Thank you so much for bringing these for me. These are sitting at the mall. Oh my goodness. Woo. Okay, this is not what we're here to take a look at today. We're, we're gonna look at the Yeezys. Dude, I appreciate that so no much. Problem. All right, we got the Yeezys, we got the Jordan ones, we got my book about the stock market. Oh, oh it's locked. All right, thank you very much. Have a good one. <sighs> that was a long morning, but we got the shoes. So they have about 30 pairs in the store. I, I was thankfully first in line, as you guys saw, but look how many people are in line. This is absolutely ridiculous. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going. All right, so we are back. 
back, we secured both pairs of shoes. Uh, first off, I'm gonna get to this one really, really quick. These are the Yeezys, I have not even seen them yet, but these were purchased by a buddy of mine who is an awesome human being. He texted me while I was at the lineup and said, yo, Tom, I'm at the mall, they got an extra pair of size 12s in these, do you want them? I said, say no more, you know I want them. It's a pair of Jordan 1s, not much hype around these, surprisingly. Initially, it looked like there was gonna be a lot of hype around them, but, I mean, they're sitting most places. They're sitting online and I could not be happier. I might buy a second pair of these if they go on sale. For now, one is definitely good. The Phantom Jim Red and White Jordan ones, I'm not exactly sure what the proper name of these is. I love these things. I mean, we're not gonna spend too much time checking these out because we are here for the Yeezys. This is quickly turning into like a 20 minute vlog. I'm not complaining though. These things are amazing. Look at that leather. It looks like paper, like it looks like crinkled up paper. Absolutely love that. The neoprene on the back, not the biggest fan of, but the colorway is amazing. That red stitching, the black stitching, it looks like a stencil. Like remember when those cartoon sneakers were a theme and or a trend, I guess, and people were just making all those Air Force Ones and Jordan 1 Yin Yangs that look like cartoon sneakers. Uh, this is like the real release of those in my mind. That's what it looks like at least. I love these. If you guys still want to pick these up, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to scoop these because they are amazing. Do not sleep on these things. In a couple of years, these will resell for 300 bucks. I guarantee you, absolutely 100% guarantee you, these are going to be a long-term sleeper. If you guys are looking for a long-term speculative investment, buy these. I can't guarantee you you'll make money, except my gut tells me you'll probably make money. Anyway, let's ditch these and check out the Yeezy 350s. Okay, so this is my first time seeing these just as it is your first time seeing these. The Clay Yeezys are one of my more anticipated Yeezys that have come out this year. Here's the box, we got 350, we got Boost, we got size 12 right there. I am pretty excited to see these. I, oh wow. They are like really orange. I didn't expect them to be this orange in person. The, the pull tab is legit just orange. The midsole has lots of orange tint to it. There's lots of orange under there. These are exceptional. Lots of people were talking crap about these, saying they were the worst out of the three. We had the Triform, we had the Hyperspace, and then we had the Clays right here. I think these ones, in my honest opinion, I haven't seen the Triforms in person, but I have the hyperspaces. I picked those up last week. I'll leave a video card if you guys want to go check that out. I do honestly believe that these are my favorite out of the hyperspaces and these. And if I had to guess based on pictures, I think I like these more than the Triforms as well. I, wow, these are great. Yeezy, thank you for doing something sick on a pair of shoes. It's been a while for the 350 V2. We've been seeing mediocre colorway after mediocre colorway. The statics were cool. These are cool. 2019, you guys are back on a roll with putting out cool Yeezy colorways. So let's take a quick little look at these. Wow, the colors are really, really cool. We got like a burlap sack color going on with some hits of orange underneath. The midsole looks exquisite with that shining orange. There's a lot of light coming in from the window right now, so you can probably really see that shine of the orange. Of course, you got the pull tab right here and that little plastic cutout that we got right there on the midfoot with sort of a plastic mesh. You can see a little bit of orange foam right there. On the inside, you have that tan burlap colorway once again. This is what the bottom looks like. We got that almost peach colored bottom with some boost right there. I love these things. Wow, I wish I could have got multiple pairs of these because they actually are reselling for a lot. But as you guys saw by today's drama, I am just lucky I got one pair that I myself can wear and enjoy. Uh, these are definitely something that I plan to be rocking a lot this summer. Who knows, I might never wear them because I have a lot of sneakers, but I at least plan to rock these a lot this summer. The weather's getting better outside, which means I can start throwing on some nicer sneakers, which I am really, really excited about. Wow, the Yeezy Clay V2. Definitely the hardest Yeezy I've ever had to get. I mean, I've paid resale for some Yeezys. I've camped out for some Yeezys. I never won a raffle for some Yeezys. I have never had to fend off the verbal attack of 30 different people saying I was cutting them in line. Uh, so that was, a, that was a great life experience. I'm honestly proud of myself. I think I handled myself very well. I ended up getting the shoes and at the end of the day, I walked away with most of those people and I on good terms, which is always great. If you can end an argument on good terms, even if you still disagree with each other, I think that is the best way to handle life. Don't create enemies, create as many friends as you possibly can and uh, I think you'll live a happy life. That is today's word of wisdom from me. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comment section below. If you love 
love them, tell me you love them. If you hate them, tell me you hate them. Let me know your full and unadulterated thoughts of these down in the comment section. And if you are still watching at this point in the video, let's just give Steven a daily reminder that we don't want him here. Everyone comment, Steven, why are you still here? Down in the comment section below. Make sure to turn on those post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.